New in FL Studio 21 is the Vintage Phaser. The Vintage Phaser makes sound design in FL Studio 21 so much better. My name is Thomas Foster and in this video I'll explain you everything you need to know about the Vintage Phaser. Good to have you here, let's go! So this is the Vintage Phaser and we see here four models, the phasing, the modulation, the delay and the levels. But um, like in every plug-in, we can check here the uh, presets uh, or we can go through them with the arrows. All right, let's do this. I am using my favorite plug-in for sounds, the Mutant Player. Here I prepared some sounds and we start with the acoustic guitar. Okay, the acoustic guitar without the vintage phaser, without effects, sounds like this. Let's turn on the vintage phaser. All right. Let's go through the presets. Classic cycle mono, classic cycle stereo, deep cycle, that's default, the delay phaser mono, and that's my favorite preset delay phaser stereo. That sounds nice. Okay, um, let me explain you a little bit how this works. Um, the delay is separate, so maybe we turn it off for now and start really just with the phasing. Um, the most important fader maybe is this one here, the mix. So if you go down to zero, it's like you are on bypass. No effect. And the more you go up, the more effect you have. So very often we stay at 50%, so we have the dry signal mixed with the effect signal. So to explain you what a phaser is doing, how a phaser worked, I go here to manual. Now I have here just one fader that is choosing the frequency of the phaser. And what a phaser is doing is something like this. It goes up and down. But instead of doing this with your mouse, you can define where to start, so because you can go like this, really down and up, or just small movements like this, so you can define where to start and where to end. And if we click again on manual, so the light is gone, we can define this. We start here and end there. And how fast do we do this? That's the speed, very slow or very fast. If you take a look to your hint panel, you see exactly what you're doing. So you see at which frequency you are starting, where, where is the maximum and the speed that you also can musically wise. So if we do the speed like this, we have this uh, 16 to zero, for example, what means one time per bar. Or if you make it four to zero, then it's uh, four times per bar. You see that's much faster. And yeah, and so on. So two, two to zero is a eighth note and so on. Uh, let's stay at four to one. And here we can choose the feedback. That means how much is going from the output of the phaser to the input. For me, it's a little bit too fast. Let's go down. Yeah, that's nicer. How much stereo do we want to have this? Uh, you can change the face of the left channel and the right channel. And if you're in the middle, you have maybe the maximum stereo effect. What is the tension? Modify the LFO shape to simulate wonky and degraded electronics or a saging battery. That's what the manual is saying. Let's listen to this. Yeah. And you see them changing here if you look to this graphic beside the type.
All right. Uh, you also can go to a sine wave. So that's how the movement is happening. If it looks more like a triangle or a sine wave. Still could be a little bit slower. Let's go to one bar, 16 to zero. And now let's, uh, not before we come to the delay, maybe we talk about this noise here a little bit. Uh, it's very easy to explain what the noise is doing. <laughs> it's doing that. So that's to simulate old vintage uh, hardware. Basically, I would not use it, but some people like to have this kind of vintage noise. And if you just want to have it when your um, instrument is really playing, then you can use the noise gate. So uh, you, to hear this, we are clear, we bring up the noise to 100%. We turn on the noise gate, so there's no noise until I play. Yeah, it's too much, but that's maybe a nice effect, right? Okay, let's turn it down. Good. And then we have here this delay. Basically, you can set the time uh, in milliseconds. So 500 milliseconds would be a half second. Or if you click the time button, the time sync button, then uh, you can say 8, 0 what is uh, a half note, or maybe something better like four to zero, what is a quarter note, or even faster, uh, two to zero is a eighth note. So then you can he here choose the mix. So how much delay do we want to have? Now it's like the delay is turned off because it's zero. The more we go up, the more we hear the delay. So let's keep it at 50%. And um, we have here the feedback. So how many repeatings do we have? How much do we send from the output of the delay to the input? And we have here some filters. Exactly. Uh, it's like if you move the filters like this, the low pass filter really up and the high pass filter really down, then it's without a filter. So let's listen to the filters. That's the low pass filter. So it's cutting the high frequencies. You hear the more repeatings we have, the more it's going to sound dark. Let's turn it up, so the low pass filter is doing nothing. And let's bring up the high pass filter. So the high pass filter is cutting the low frequencies. That's why we just hear the high frequencies at the end. Okay, um, maybe we filter it a little bit like this. Wonderful. Then we have stereo. With stereo, you can move the delay, for example, to the left and the original to the right. Or the opposite. Yeah. And let's keep it in the middle. <laughs> and let's bring down the mix. So that's basically how the vintage phaser is working. You can make your input mono, what is not so important. Ah, maybe I should explain, the, I forgot to explain this button here, right? That's the keep pitch function. Um, if, let's go to uh, milliseconds here. Um, if you change the delay time, you will hear that like on a tape machine that you make faster and slower, uh, the pitch is uh, moving. If you don't like that, 
push the keep pitch button and you don't have this. But sometimes it's nice to have this effect. Yeah, but this is just changing something if you move this button. All right, so maybe we listen to some other sounds of the Mutant player that was the acoustic guitar. Why don't we listen to some real drums that I play on my keyboard here of the Mutant player. I go to solo on the real drums. Yeah, maybe without the del uh, delay. So let's listen without the phaser. I bypass the phaser. And now with the phaser. Maybe also we listen to another effect, the low grounder. And the uh, sidebander. And we could listen to another nice sound of the Mutant player. The Electro Soul Piano is also very nice. Let me bypass the phaser for a short moment. Okay, with the phaser. Let me go to another preset, back to the delay phaser stereo. Let me add some noise. Let me add some feedback. Make it Bring it a little bit more to the middle, all right. Uh, more tension. And maybe a little bit slower. Isn't it nice? By the way, definitely check out the Mutant player. Uh, the basic version is free. Just go to mutant.com. Uh, I'll make you a link in the description. The sounds are really amazing. You will love it. Thanks for watching this video. Always stay creative. Cheers.